Iron Training. I've got my friend Bobby Doe here with me. She's a seven-month-old St. Bernard pup. And she's just enrolled into the two-week board and train program. So Bobby Joe's an interesting puppy because she goes back and forth from being a pretty timid, standoffish, skeptical type dog to being incredibly pushy, trying to get in your face, move you around, um, activate affection and attention and play. So that last one, the, the pushiness, that typically occurs around the house. Someone sits down with a sandwich or something and she wants a piece of it, she's going to be muscling up onto people, uh, laying her head on people's laps, whining, even like doing the paw punching thing. And these behaviors the owners ignored for the longest time because she was small, it's cute, all of that. Now she weighs like 75-ish, 80 pounds, and it's no longer cute. It's pretty disruptive to day-to-day -day life. Those behaviors get even worse if like a guest is over coming through the door. She's just hitting people, jumping, dragging people to the ground, um, and just being a general pain. When they want to have, you know, kids' friends over, she's all over them. You know, doing a lot of kissing and all of that, but she doesn't have an off switch and she doesn't know physical boundaries. So the timidness, the fear, that typically happens outside. Uh, she's pretty skeptical of seeing people out outdoors, seeing other dogs across the street rather than being interested in them. She's shying away. She's wrapping the leash around her own or trying to get behind her and cower. Um, she's very sensitive to strange shaped objects, things that she doesn't recognize. So if her owner's taking her for a nighttime walk, and uh, there's a trash can she hasn't seen before. If it casts a weird shadow or she catches it out of the corner of her eye, her owner says that she'll just, she'll immediately think of the path home and tear that way as hard as she can and take her owner for a ride. Uh, but she's a very, very powerful leash puller when she wants to be. And she doesn't have a very good grasp of generally following someone on a leash either. So we need to work on that. But we also need to build the confidence up so that she doesn't get spooked by inanimate objects so if um, someone approaches her owner to speak to her while they're outside, she doesn't feel the need to hide behind her. Um, so that's a lot of the stuff we're gonna work on. She also needs just a general touch up on basic obedience. I, if she knows the sit command, she can place a little bit. I, I don't think that she knows how to down. And uh, like I said, her, she's not a very good leash walker as well. Not as abhorrently bad as the owner said she was earlier, but still, she won't stay to her side. She catches the scent, she's off in her own little world. And uh, the recall, from what I've heard, also needs a lot of work. So let's get where we're starting out. Here. Bobby Joe, come! Bobby Joe! Bobby Joe! Good girl! Bobby Joe, come on! Good. You sit? Bobby Joe! got some work to do. I'm gonna get after and have some fun. Stay tuned to see your progress.
Thank you.